Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm going to make a mental note now. Not to stop recording while in the middle of turn processing because some interesting things happened about two seconds after I stopped recording that session or previous episode. Yeah. I'm gonna just give you a look see. Gandhi and Kalmahalia, however you pronounce it. I think they they were in cohorts against me. They both declared war at the same time. So and the Mongols what the heck? Oh so now given them open borders they're gonna start spreading even don't even think about claiming that aluminum. Either way, some Polynesian workers were dumb enough to head this way, so they're gonna die. In the face with some rockets. And uh, the floodplains desert. This place needs to build a workboat. We are Can we actually build No we can't, we need refrigeration. Never mind about that then. So where are you going? I think you were going over there. This is another work? No, build a farm there. It's been a bit of time since I recorded since the last episode because I had to take a break, but I'm just trying to remind myself things and some Polynesian settlers are not about to bite the dust. Tough settlers. They face missiles like that. So anyway. Oh, Indian trireme. We're gonna send the fleet over this way. Because that's where our two enemies are. First off though. Destroy it. Okay, it's not going to be a clean kill. <laughs> it's almost gone. Ed, please move. Die. Okay, that's dealt with. Bring it. Deploy. And the Great Admiral can go over there too. All ships, the Mongols, as of yet, are not the major threat. If they declare war on us, then we're in trouble because we'll be attacked from both ends, or both sides. But we have an imminent threat and they're coming from this direction. Now we need to produce things. And the things that we will produce... This place is going to need a granary. Food will be a little bit... well food won't be limited, but with this all this wheat the granary will provide a nice boost. So now we wait with bated breath because finally some conflict is occurring with us, making this probably a whole lot interesting. And Washington is right behind me. With all the cities that Polynesia is building, they'll no doubt be producing a good amount of science. I think. <laughs> you made me that bleeding offer, and I'm not going to give you that. How about that? Okay, he's good with that. Alright, when's the attack coming? Come on, they must have had some motives for attacking me because I'm not seeing any armies. Those spearmen have been with me since the dawn of time. They're still exploring away because there's just a couple of islands left that still have some fog of war on them. Where? Are they attacking one of my outside colonies on the petri dish? It would be like them, wouldn't it? The bastards! They will die! <laughs> Taking out Polynesia is going to be quite a, a gargantuan undertaking because they've got so many cities every... What? Huh. Die! Those were the right ones that were hiding there. They're in flimsy wooden... Polynesian boats. A missile strike would completely destroy them. It could slip in from under there, but if they do that, I'll have the ship swing around and make a kill. Same with these guys. 
Perhaps I could launch an attack on one of their cities. Go over there. You, you want something... Faith and dead. Oh, that's that belief. We can build farms in the desert. Or value farms, but... Every little bit of food will help. Those workers are still there. Oh, we're just going to stand here and take all your missiles. Because we're dumb ass. Because we're dumb asses. And a golden age has dawned for our glorious empire. In the, in the wake of blowing up workers. Is the following trade of interest to you? Sweeten the deal, Washington. I want more. Of course not. I'll give you the horses. Is the following trade of interest to you? What if we replace that with salt? Ah. Very well. We've still got some iron left if we need more ships. Plenty of iron. And I don't use ho and I don't need horses. I'm not gonna be using cavalry. Ships will be right at and where ships won't mean van. Det är min övertygelse att den uppgörelse kan gagna både mitt och ett folk. Wine. Min vän, det är min övertygelse att den uppgörelse kan gagna både mitt... Give me all your lovely money. <laughs> uh. Nope. But I'll see if I can bribe you once more into declaring war against a much larger empire that is capable of completely annihilating you. I don't want your aluminum. I want all your money. <laughs> Fool. I don't need those, they're just spares. But I do want your money. Your money is gloriously delicious. Keep churning out this money and this science because I want to plow through this tech tree as fast as humanly possible. We're gonna head all the way up to the oh gosh. Not the archers. They've been with me since BC and now you've just almost completely destroyed them. Hm. It's a shame to see workers that have to see troops that have been with me exploring faithfully for thousands of years, getting blown to bits just for doing their duty of overcoming the fog of war but not pillage their minds and then die so we could launch an attack on one of their cities these are all new colonies surprisingly high defense I don't see many incoming enemy troops. What are, what are they doing sending workers there? You're just sending workers to their deaths, you have bleeding full and... Kill them! <laughs> They're getting free XP, so why not? What we will need is uh, a melee ship. And you. That's a nice boost to production. That's seven right there. Just sleep. You're on guard duty. Whoa. Those workers are still there. Die. <laughs> Ooh. We can nick their salt. Where shall we attack? Not maybe I'll send a, a few ships up that way. You guys as well. Head to Tulmato. And I'm going to need to build a melee ship to see if we can take that city. And speak of the devil. 
Right over here. And you... Public school, we need the science. Ooh. Granary. We need to put... We need to put workers there. That place needs to get some sources of food. Do we have incense? No, we don't. That's next on the list. Get even more happiness, we can crank out the golden ages even more. Wonderful. Alright, Polynesia. What have you got for me next? More flimsy wooden boats. Don't make me laugh. And <laughs> you was he at war with? Damn it! I forgot. Need to see if I can bribe the Mongolians into. Whoa! That city's gotten big. <laughs> was that an Indian settler? I only got a brief glimpse. But nice going. Plastics. Now we can build research labs. Ooh, grab that. You. Clear away these marshes. Hang on a second. I do. Did they just set that up? No, that was there before, but I just realized how close they are. And that's not good. Is that why they declared war? I don't know. But I want research labs. And I want them now. Anywhere else on research? I don't think so. Probably the only ones. Uh, cheese production. Huh. You know what, let's just buy a research lab there. Yoink! What is him? Where'd all that happiness come from? I don't know. Ooh, I want flight. That leads to electronics, which leads to battleships. Arrgh. We need oil for the battleships, though. Which we're gonna get from some of the on land, but we also want the offshore. You guys stay there on guard duty. If the Polynesians try anything, blow them out of the water. How many city states were they at war with them? Min ven. Det är min övertygelse att den upp. I accept that gracious deal. Always done it anyway. Good on you. I didn't need to bribe you. Not sure how it's going to go for you, since they're much bigger than you. But where'd that settler go? Where are you going to set up that new city? Whoa. They're ganging up on him. Still probably got issues with America. So how's that going to turn out, I wonder? Sixty-five from excess happiness. That's good. It's very good. So it pays to have as much happiness as possible. We now have our privateer. He is going to be a true coastal raider. Ooh. What's this? A Polynesian worker. Don't make me laugh. And they decided to set up a new one which somehow has almost as much defense as that. I don't know how. 
but <laughs> with wine. Yeah, you know what? Just ooh, buy these things. Free research. Well, not a free one, but easy research lab. Wonderful. So we provided. Oh, I bought salt off him. Could I sell him anything? Greetings. No, I cannot. Goodbye. Next turn. Okay, the ships have arrived. Now, with that kind of defense, it's probably going to hurt the ships quite a bit. So we'll see if we can skillfully maneuver them around. Anything else? <laughs> Our outside colonies are starting to... Is the following trade of interest to you? Sweeten the deal, Washington. I want more. Of course not. Is right. the following trade of interest to you? There you go. You are shooting. He thinks I just gave him a freebie help for help. <laughs> Sucker. Ah. What? Our science is... My science is rocketing up. I love this. When are we going to get our next... Our culture, on the other hand, is going to take a while to pick up because we have so many damn cities. Absolutely not. I never trust you. <laughs> Look at it. He set up so oh, he set that up a while ago, clearly. Those spearmen are still going strong. Enemy workers nearby. They pose no threat to us, but we thought we'd inform you anyway. Ooh. <laughs> Sucker. So Gandhi will soon have the ability to build nuclear devices. So being at war with him might have some dramatic consequences. Now, maneuvering these guys, I'm going to see if I can swing one round to attack from that direction. How many do I have? Is it just the three? I think it's just the three. And the privateer is also on the way. We're going to launch a bombardment and see how it goes. Fire! Destroy them! Okay, it chips away at the health fairly steadily, so a few good bombardments should do the trick. Where are you? Oh. You know what, just... just buy it. So we don't... Nope! So our happiness is going to go up even more. Oh, how convenient! They want incense. No, I want, to, I want to remain on good terms with you. Sorry, Kathmandu. But I'm afraid that Washington is a far bigger threat than you when it comes to pissing someone off. I'm sure you'll understand. Not that I'm afraid. No, 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 no. I'll pound Washington into the ground if I have to. How dare you suggest... I'm afraid of someone who wears that kind of a wig. It is a wig, isn't it? I don't know. Do, 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 do. Jesus. The period in between waiting for turns is taking minutes now. Don't worry, I'm not going to end episodes in but Ouch. Oh, that hurt. Okay, how is... 
Oh, that stings. We're gonna need more ships. Yeah. Gonna need more ships. Come on, city states. I'm spending more time waiting for them than doing my damn turns. There's so damn many of them. I actually want Genghis to start conquering so they don't take so. Oh my good lord. Perhaps I should be afraid. Look at this. Ay, 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 ay.